singing for you down there. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. It's Bella's birthday. Well, kind of. It is tomorrow. Yeah. I can't believe you're 17. I know. Like, That's... what? You were just turning 15. Sorry, the pool just turned on. It's celebrating you, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun fact three years ago today is when we met. Like, no, it's when we all met. I can't believe three years. Yeah. Crazy. It went by so fast. But at the same time, I feel like it's been forever. Like, I just feel like you've always been my daughter. Yeah. It's crazy. The one wish that Bella had for her birthday this year was? To go to Noah Khan. To go to a Noah Khan concert. concert. Yeah. Ah! So it is in LA. And so, what better way than to have a girl's road trip? So Bella wanted to bring her friend Mel and Joey on this little girl's road trip. They're going to have so much fun, but they can't go by themselves because A, they can't check into a hotel, and B, I want to spend Bella's birthday with her, and C, safety-wise. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually going, they're going to drive there, I'm going to fly, that, fly there and meet them there tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to celebrate Bella's birthday and have a fun day in LA, go to the concert, and then fly back. So. Yeah. I'm so excited. You better drive so safe. I will. It worries me. You better listen to music on the plane. I, yeah, I need to start listening. I've been listening actually today to some of his songs. <laughs> I don't know his music at all, so... Actually, I recognize his music when I listen to the one. Yeah. I think it's called Forever? Yeah. Something like that? Me, yeah. I know one song. Hi, guys. It's Bella and Mal. Hi. Joey's in the bathroom. We already stopped. We got about 15 minutes into the, the drive and we were like, let's get some food. So as you can imagine, we went to good old Chick-fil-A. The, the drive is six hours and 30 minutes. Oh my. Hey guys. I got a refill. <laughs> <laughs> Be good for dad. I love Bye. you. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I hate splitting. I hate splitting too. Have a good That's flight. Thank you. Give Bella the biggest hug and no, say happy birthday, birthday for me and give me first for once, please. Okay. You can do it. I can do it. You can do it. 
Now I'm There's competing no with her friends. Other, yeah. Guys. Okay. Hi guys. Freaking. We get here and I'm like confused. I don't know where to park. I fell asleep. <laughs> and so I go and I park in this random car wash place. And then we run over. We have to go do like this freaking escape it's room. It's haunted. It's literally haunted. It's haunted up there. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have to do this like escape room type thing. Like I'm literally like trying to do clues and everything, trying to find all of the keys and this and that. But I did it, guys, and I was stressed as crap. But you know, it's fine. I pulled through, and we're here. We're parked in the garage, and unfortunately, I have to wait for my mom to get here, and she doesn't land for like another hour. So that's. I oh, wait. thought there was a ghost behind us, and they were way in front of me, and I had to run down the stairs. <laughs> you stopped so... running. You just started walking back No, there. when we were going down the stairs, it was so scary. I thought I heard someone behind <laughs> Your me. face now. There was no one there. It's literally haunted. There's no, does like no one work there? It's just like. I don't know. It's creepy. So. When we came up, when we came up here, the elevator took five ever, and then the elevator wouldn't work when we were trying to come down, so we gotta so run down. Let's the just pray that it works. <laughs> Stop. Okay, this is our living room. Um. Yeah, it's really cute actually. This, this like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like, it like, I don't know, it's kind of like an apartment, kind of hotel kind of thing. Here's a little bit messed up, it's okay. Here's the other bath, or oh, we haven't seen the bathroom, but this is the bathroom. Cute. <laughs> I actually like that shower a lot. And this is Mama Pettit's room. See, look at this huge bed. She gonna be sleeping comfy tonight. Oh. Yeah, this is our room. Oh. Whoa, it's a and a closet. It's in a bougie closet. That's the house tour, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it for you. Did you put the seats in it? No, I, I usually dump out the water. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Here's the kitchen, guys. Um, We got Bella's ramen, but I graciously just got out for her. <laughs> we can't pour the water out, it's really hot. Fridge. No food. <laughs> no food. Pantry? No. <laughs> no food. <laughs> okay, guys, it's 11.59. Bella's birthday's in one minute. We're gonna go in there and scream at her. Why do I look? Oh, wait, what time is it? Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. So we are in Los Angeles. I didn't film a lot last night because I realized something about myself last night that was just crazy and I don't know why I didn't film. But I don't know, I don't remember the last time I was alone. And I traveled in the airport alone last night. I forgot my phone when I got my ass evil. And this guy like ran after me and like, hey, you forgot your phone. I had to go back and get it. And then um, taking, because I got in so late because my flight was late. I didn't get in until like, I think it was like 1130. And uh, so I had Bella go to the hotel. I was able to do like a self check-in online. So she was able to wait at the hotel and then I Ubered. And I was so nervous. And it was so different being alone. Like, 
I'm like, what is this alone thing? Like, it's just, oh, it just felt so weird. Like, I can't even describe it. Uh, but anyways, I was really nervous to take an Uber ride by myself. And Aaron's like, I don't know if I want you to. And I'm like, it's fine, Aaron. But anyways, I had the nicest Uber driver I've ever met. Like, he dropped me off. And then, like, he stood outside his car and, like, made sure that I got in safely. And then he's, like, waved at me goodbye. And I was like... He didn't have to do that and that was so nice and the person that told me I forgot my phone like everyone was just so nice those yeah there's so many nice people in the world but huge happy birthday to Bella you are just an incredible person and I am so incredibly lucky to be your mom and I cannot wait to spend today with you here's the thing guys it's already 11 30 and she's just waking up. I just told her happy birthday. Well, and I told her last night at midnight when I got here. Uh, but <laughs> she was like, why didn't you wake me up earlier? And I'm like, it's your birthday. You deserve to sleep in and just have a fun, relaxing day. In the past, Bella has expressed that she doesn't like celebrating her birthday. And every time her birthday's coming, like especially the first year she celebrated with us, she's like, I don't want to celebrate my birthday. It's not a thing. I don't want the attention, all of that, which I understand from like having a past of maybe not being celebrated or appreciated in that way. A birthday can feel very almost sad. I'm not sad. I don't think that's the right word for it. Could almost feel like a burden or you could feel, I don't know. You don't want to have expectation disappointment on it. I don't know. You guys all know what I mean. But anyways, so my goal over the last few years have been to just celebrate Bella and just do what she wants to do in the way she wants to do things. I hope she'll learn to love her birthday and I hope that she learns to be appreciated because she brings so much joy into our family and to the lives of others. Like Bella is just truly, truly an incredible person. And and again, I know I just said this, but I am so, so lucky to have her in my life and to be her mom. Like, I just feel so proud to like call it, you know, be her mom. So anyways, not starting the day of crying or anything, but I love you, Bella. Happy birthday. Yes, yeah, Bella, what do you want for breakfast? And you guys, you guys should know her response by now. Like it used to be Chick-fil-A. She used to be obsessed. Anything and everything, she'd eat it 20 times a day if she could. It is now Subway. She has moved on. Subway is her go-to. So she looks at me and I was like, Subway? And she goes, yeah. So <laughs> while her and her friends are getting ready, I'm gonna go grab them while Subway. If I could find the car. I wasn't here when Bella parked last night. I'm in a, I'm in a garage. But I have no idea where she parked. I'm lost. It's around the corner. And then it just goes up. I don't think I'm in the right area. I swear we'll find the car. <laughs> Maybe just L? Found a sign. It says parking. There she is. I found it. Oh, <laughs> I just finally made it all the way down here. And I don't think I have Bella's keys. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you! Is it weird waking up in California? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I slept until 12.30 or 11.30? 11.30. Yeah. But I did not mean to sleep in that late. It's okay. Now you can be refreshed for your birthday. Yeah. So the first thing Bella wants to do is go to the mall and get an outfit for the concert. We're listening to Noah right now because we're trying to get mom to know some of the song so she's not just standing at the concert <laughs> all awkwardly. It <laughs> <laughs> <That> could happen. Because <laughs> that's definitely what she's going to be doing. I'll go get you guys food and drinks. That'll be my job. <laughs> or you guys dance your heart away enough. <laughs> she's going to be a little waiter. <laughs> and then she's going to witness us like crying. <laughs> she's going to be like... <laughs> Bella. <sighs> Why are you driving crazy? That's Mom. not from that. Mom hit a cone. <laughs> Mom hit a cone. <laughs> the cone jumped out in front no, of me. No, I, I go, I go, Mom, cone. She looks, she like looks around, and cone, and then she hits the cone. I thought I was far enough over. It's okay though. It didn't leave anything on the car. Good. Okay, explain to them about your piercing. We're just gonna explain okay. it. So basically, 
um, my piercing got like super infected and I left it in like for a little while like hoping like it would get better and I used a bunch of like piercing foam stuff I cleaned it every day like twice a day and it just would not get any better I tried to pop it and I don't know if like I'm supposed to do that but I tried to and it just like didn't help it and it, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger so Tristan was like here's the deal like take it out and once it heals then we'll go get it repaired and so my it is completely it healed. Is healed there's a little bit of scarring but it's like not bad like at all so we're just gonna go get it repaired straight out yes that's the piercing that she got in Atlanta and I don't know if it was like what um jewelry they used but we're gonna try different jewelry but yeah, it just kept getting a bump, and so but I'm glad also, it's out like, and healed. Um, with the jewelry that they used, it kept on getting tugged out. Like literally, yeah. when we were on the plane, the, after I got it fixed, um, it the plane started having turbulence, and I like shook my head up, and it pierced, like it pulled it out right away, and so it started immediately getting a bump, like two weeks afterwards. That's one other thing she wants to do for her birthday. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she bought a, like a metal belt to go with her outfit tonight. But every place we go into it sets off the alarm. We looked, there's no tag on it. It's just so for some awkward. reason sets off the alarm every oh, store we go into. <laughs> Are you putting your new shoes on? Yeah, I'm really excited. They're so cute. They're really I cute. Love the it's like the most subtle. Piece. They just look like your like theme, you know. They do. They're just they're Bella shoes. <laughs> <laughs> She said it hurts so bad. Really? Do you like it? I like it. I feel like it's in a really good spot. Yeah. It looks cute. Wait, did you do the other side? Instead? Mm -hmm. Should that side. How bad did it hurt on one to ten? You were like crying. Like a five. Like, I think I just wasn't ready. She didn't go one, two, three or anything. She's going, Ugh. and I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're gonna do is do the Walk of Fame, and Bella wants to eat at the Hard Rock Cafe. So we parked here. <laughs> Great one, Mom. I think we're lost again in the stairway. I think we need to go off these doors. I think someone just closed this gate for us. <laughs> Look, I did it. See? Good job, Mom. This is Mel's first time, like, on the Walk of Fame, and only her second time to California. Yeah, my first time was last week. Just last week? What did yeah. you do last week? We went to um, Oceanside and Newport. Oh, it was fun. So fun. It's so pretty there. Okay. <laughs> that was basically like she was like, no, 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 no. 
I go, I go. That place was so fun. Mm -hmm. Thank that you so much. Yeah, oh, you guys you are so welcome. Much. We just had one scary thing where this guy in this wheelchair was like, oh my gosh, not chasing us, but he was like saying something and like coming. No, he was us. definitely chasing, chasing us. Okay, he was chasing us. I was trying to downplay it. <laughs> and then he was literally walking. Yeah, he like, didn't even need a wheelchair. Yeah, like he got out of it and then he started like walking, walking. speed and walking. Like, no, and then there was like hand signals. He was just like, what? And then he's like, hmm? It was creepy. <laughs> was oh my like, gosh. Uh, and he called her pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're safe though, we're good. We went down. The we're security the saw now. us and he's like, you guys can walk down that ramp. So we're good. Okay, we're gonna go back to the wherever we're staying. I thought it was a hotel, and but I said it's a like, hotel. Oh, <laughs> that was so exciting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Love the excitement. <laughs> Joey's getting ready right now. She's curling her hair. And then this is my outfit. This this top is from H&M, believe it or not. Wait, no, it's from Forever 21, believe it or not. It's only like 10 bucks. And then this skirt is from Garage. This belt is from Garage. Joey's doing Miles' hair and I'm doing my lashes and then Joey's gonna do my hair. Fun fact, Joey's in Cosmo School. Is dealing with me going okay so far? No, you're driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. I could never get sick of you. Do you guys know how to do the worm with your eyebrows? The what? The worm with your eyebrows. Am I doing it? <laughs> no. Hey, am I doing it? When I'm going up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he happy birthdayed his way back into my life. And uh, it's not happening. Me and Joey are not letting that happen. We are not letting that happen. He's not the one. He ain't the one. <laughs> That's nice of him, though. <laughs> yeah. They're still getting ready, but I am pretty much done. I am all ready for the concert, and I'm so excited. But I'm not really excited for the concert, if this is going to make sense at all. I'm excited to see Bella and her friends' reactions to the concert and to watch them have fun and just enjoy it. And I'm so, so excited just to see them have fun, if that makes any sense. You look so beautiful. No con vibes. <laughs> we saw these people at Hard Rock Cafe and Bella's like, they're totally going to the concert because they, they were dressed They were literally them. wearing this exact outfit. Yeah, except for without the belt. You're so beautiful. <laughs> you look in snap. It's probably bad lighting that one. You do look cute. It's Mom really has such actually. bod goals. <laughs> what? I said you have such bod goals. Bod goals? Yeah, you're so Don't pretty. Say that on camera. You can't compliment me. I can only compliment you. <laughs> no, I understand it's hard to take a compliment. So thank you. Exactly. Thank you. That's now you know what I mean. <laughs> Bella and I both struggle with compliments. <laughs> We're working on it. You're doing better with it, actually. Okay. And you look so beautiful, too. Thank you! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> saying how she was just talking about this like a year ago and now it's become a reality. Well, like we saw this, like we heard about this specific concert a year ago and now we're actually here. I'm watching all of my dreams come true. Take all my stress away. Clear up my cloudy days. Just me and you and all this music, baby, never change. So 
that's so exciting. Why is it zoomed in? I don't know. It's zoomed in. So mom just went and she is getting us some jackets, some merch, because um, it's cold. It's like really cold. So we're just patiently waiting for Noah to come out and for mom to come back. It's currently 9 o'clock. Noah come out. Just kidding. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming! He's coming! You just can't stand about it. <laughs> She lost her voice. Well, my voice is like, it's barely there. Aww. I'm glad you had the best birthday ever. Thank you. <laughs> We are back at the hotel that we're staying at and I have to say the other day one of you commented like make sure you're looking for the glimmers in your life and today was definitely a glimmer to see Bella so happy. It just there's nothing better than that and so I'm so glad that she had an amazing birthday. Happy 17th birthday Bella. I absolutely love and adore you so much and looking forward to building many more memories with you and I will see you all next time. Bye!